About a week prior to the experience I had been to a birthday party for my preschool grandson. Where I had been exposed to another little boy who was coming down with the flu that was going around. To my recollection, this was in December of 1998. I got the flu a day or two later, and it just didn't go away. It kept on getting worse and worse, until I had a fever that was so agonizing. That even the touch of a sheet against my skin was excruciating. I kept having muscle spasms that arched my back. The pain of those spasms was worse than anything I'd ever had. I kept on going deeper and deeper, trying to find a place in my mind. Where I could get away from the pain, where it would just stop. I found myself rising up out of my body into a world that was total blackness. There was nothing there, just blackness all around me. I was floating, moving through that blackness, scared of the fact that there was nothing under me to keep me from falling. Then I looked down and I saw I was seated on a big rug, like in the story of Aladdin. Ahead of me, I saw many square rafts, with 100 human figures seated cross-legged on each raft. They were all bald and bluish in color, dressed in draped bluish robes, like Roman or Greek robes. One of them gave me a hate-filled glance that shocked me. As the bluish rafts of human figures moved into the far distance, I saw a great opening ahead of me in the blackness. It was bigger than anything on earth was. I felt very tiny as I went through the opening. I went down what felt like the long main aisle in a cathedral that had all the lights off. The darkness was so thick I could feel it brushing against me. I looked down at my body and I noticed that I had turned into a sphere of blue and multicolored light. At the time, it seemed perfectly okay, perfectly reasonable. I kept on looking around, trying to make sense of all this and hearing my mother beg me to come up and stay with us. I got rather annoyed with my mother. This was only a case of flu, after all. I saw a light ahead of me, far off in the distance. As it drew closer, it looked like a door on its side, with light spilling through it. Then a great light sphere came through the door, and it got bigger and bigger. I looked up at that light and I thought, everything up here is so bloody big. The light kept coming closer until it enveloped me. I was surrounded by waterfalls of light, by rivers of light, by oceans of light that were all around me. I reached out and touched the light with my hand. Which grew out of the spherical me, especially for the purpose of touching the light, and I was reassured. It was like touching a mother's breast. I asked the light, what's happening here? What's going on? The light parted, like stage curtains in front of me. And I saw a panoramic vista of buildings, parks, trees, flowers, beauty and so many things I could not comprehend or understand. Where am I? The light answered me, not in words but in thought concepts. Now you are at the moment of beholding the imperial heaven, the heart of God, the great master awareness that overflows to create all that is. I flowed down into the park and found myself in a garden with wide paths and flowers, and an abundance of green growing things and trees. It was beautiful beyond all measure. A gentle floral scent filled the air. I walked until I found myself inside a great hall. There was a golden light at the center of the hall that was radiating fountains of light. The light rose and fell in endless liquid motions. I touched the light with my hands, I bowed my head and touched my forehead to it. I was inside the light, seeing everything, in a vivid technicolor that had ever happened to me in my life. So much happened to me in this part of my experience, and I can't remember all of it, which is frustrating. I saw my mother's grief, and my grandmother's love for me. I was back in front of that great light, wondering what it was that was happening to me. All of a sudden I realized that this was it. Right now, right this minute, I could die. I wanted to stay so badly. The light focused its attention on me, and asked me if there was anyone or anything that was holding me down on earth. Then I saw a vision of my son coming into my bedroom, and finding his mother dead in her bed, without any warning at all. I knew I had to go back. I could not let that happen to my son. 
I spun down and landed back in my body, the pain started up again. I cried out, please help me. Please stop the pain. I saw blue hands, praying hands, reaching down into my body and lifting out what looked like horrible black mucus. I passed out, the next thing I remember was sitting up in bed with cold sweat pouring off me. Thinking to myself, oh good. The fever has broken, and it had. I healed from that flu the fastest that I ever had, with only a bronchial cough left to show for it. I was fuzzy and out of touch with the world for the next six months or so.